How's it going guys? Back like we never left BDA and today I'm here to talk about One Piece chapter 912. I'm probably not going to be doing that much editing. I'm just going to talk for you guys to have something to listen to in regards to 912 and my thoughts on it. I'm going to give my brief thoughts on 911 just because I didn't get to do a video around it last week. Give my brief thoughts on 911 and then we can delve into 912 as far as like what I foresee happening. So first I want to give my thoughts on Luffy being a lot more mature this chapter in which I really enjoyed it and for me I, more than anything I enjoy Luffy's growth right and I enjoy it because when Luffy grows I think it's kind of reflection it's a reflection of the fandom we, we grew up with Luffy well for people that's been reading One Piece for a while Luffy's childish antics from the beginning you understood it it's a new adventure and you're trying things and you're growing as Luffy grows and as he matures, it gives you a different feel. I think I mentioned this in the discussion, but then uh, I believe that Sabaody, when they first landed, Luffy showed maturity in that instance as far as like getting to the crew. I would say, yeah, but he still found a way to get in trouble. Of course, it was not his fault, but he still got in trouble in a way where he drew the pacifistas and uh, those guys to himself. This the beginning of this chapter was just phenomenal. I enjoyed I enjoyed it greatly. Coming off of Whole Cake Island, where we discussed eating ad nauseum, we have a little girl that can eat twice a year. She also seems to be an ability user. An ability user. I think to the lesser vein of Katakuri, because she's using mochi in some way. She could <clears throat> she could be a flower flower user or a dango dango user. Which is Dango is a specific food. Whereas Katakuri is just mochi, right? Could be a lesser version of that. I'm not sure how to feel about the ace thing with her and Luffy. Just because of the fact that I want to make a video on it. As far as Luffy and being able to break that to her. Is this something he's going to be able to say to her? Look at Luffy's maturity level, where he is right now, the situation around Ace, and really it has not been addressed ever since Jinbei, uh, with on the Kuja Island. So for Luffy to address this right now with a child. I'm not sure. Typically with Luffy, he addresses things in a way that's really blunt. He dealt with Momonosuke that way. It was really blunt. With Otama, I'm not sure how he would go about it. But like I said, I want to make a separate video on that. Let's see how the next chapter goes. If he does not address it next chapter, then I'll definitely make a video on it. The overall feel of 9-11 reeked of adventure and just exploration and new great characters again everything that Otama is going through to become a Konoichi it's interesting giving giving all her food to Luffy when this is her birthday and she eats twice a year this is one of her meals of the year the depth of care that had to go into that decision was it's unbelievable, right? It's unbelievable. Um, I can tell as well that um, these characters are going to be fan favorites, right? They're going to be fan favorites due to the fact that they feel different than some Whole Cake Island characters already. So... I'm looking forward to 912, and this leads me directly into 912 at the end, where Hawkins, he's supposedly working for Kaido. This clears up a lot in regards to that. As far as what happened with Kid, that's a separate video as well. But he's telling not to report to Kaido. He wants to go check it out himself. So for 912, I predict either a confrontation with Hawkins and Law or Hawkins and Luffy. Right now, I think Luffy is curb stomping most of the supernovas. 
Hawkins included. But Luffy, as a fighter, it takes a while for him to adapt and to adjust. So maybe the first time he gets caught in whatever Hawkins' trap is, I think Hawkins is going to investigate based on what he foresaw. You know, he is a tarot card reader. So for him, I'm sure he predicted something unusual happening that day. It, it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if they referenced that at all in the actual uh, manga by saying, hey, I knew something interesting was going to happen today involving our generation. He's that type of person. And a lot of people like Hawkins. I'm indifferent on him. I think he's OK. You know, not really one of my favorite supernovas, but I understand the allure behind it. Like I said, I, like I said, a confrontation with him. I would like to see a reveal of a commander. That would be dope. Overall, I would like to see more of Wano. I, I don't necessarily want more of 910 and what that was. That wasn't enjoyable. But for 911, that was really, really good. Like I said, the ace thing, if we delve deeper into that, that would be fantastic. You guys know how I feel about ace. Expect a special ace video as well. But overall, I think that we're going to get more of Wano. I know there was something going around saying that we're going back to the Reverie next chapter. Not sure how much truth to that is there. I didn't care enough to do my due diligence as far as how true it is. If we go back, we go back. If we don't, we don't. i much rather... It'd be a surprise and like, like every week saying, hey, we're going back to Reverie. Hey, we're going to Wano. Hey, we're going to go back to Skypea real quick. I don't care. Just give me the story, right? Um, overall, again, I enjoyed 9-11. I can't wait to listen or I can't wait to read 9-12. I expect great things. I, I'm looking forward to Wano. There's been a lot of Wano hate recently. People have been complaining that Wano hasn't started a lot faster or a lot better than they anticipated, which is absurd when you think about it. When we're four chapters in, three chapters in, come on, guys, let's be patient here. Yes, there's a formula to the start of arcs or the beginning of arcs somewhat because it felt the 910 felt like a regurgitate regurgitation but that's why we love one piece in 912 chapters in you're still complaining about the formula at the beginning of arcs i get it you thought i was gonna say oh fuck you no i get it i'm never against somebody complaining about what they don't like it is misplaced and overall annoying complaints just overbearing complaints that that become obviously overbearing right but for for the most part it's a select few that's complaining about wano i haven't been in discord recently as far as a discord friday or discord day uh, we'll be having that recently just to talk about the chapter to get the thoughts outside of the youtube space because the discord they typically seem to have different opinions than people on the chat on youtube or just comments on youtube so I would like to get in there to see what their thoughts are. I've been hearing that they're complaining about Wano. So we'll see. But overall, looking forward to it. Again, minimal editing here, guys. Just an audio of me talking, giving my thoughts on 9-11, expectations for 9-12. And uh, leave your thoughts below. Let me know what you look forward to, what you expect. And if you would like more videos like this as far as predictions, because I want to have a live stream tomorrow given my predictions on the chapter with everyone else but get, getting this solo thing out was something i wanted to do as well so give me give me your thoughts like the video subscribe and now we'll catch you guys later peace Dude.